I'm Olivia, and today I'm going to show you how to make a nature journal. This is the first in a series of videos on how to make an art journal, so stay tuned for more ideas and activities. Anything you want it to be. The best part about art journaling is that you can create, write, and draw anything you want. Art journaling is exactly what it sounds like. It's a place to combine poems, written thoughts, and essays with paintings, drawings, and more. It's also the perfect place to compile all of your Austin Batcave activities. Today we are going to learn how to create a nature journal. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to take inspiration from what you see outside and use that to create written and crafted works of art. To create your nature journal, you will need a homemade or store-bought notebook, writing utensils, glue or tape, and scissors. The best thing to do to gather inspiration is to go on a nature walk. Or, if you don't want to go outside, just take a look outside your window. Pretend that you are an explorer and this nature journal is how you tell everyone what you saw. What do you see? Take note of the animals, insects, plants, clouds, and write about them. What qualities do they have? Describe their color, shape, size, and demeanor. How many of each thing did you see? What shapes do you see in the clouds? What is the weather like? What do you hear? Explain the noise. What do you think made that sound? How does being in nature make you feel? What is your favorite thing about nature? Are these plants and animals native to your hometown? All of these questions should guide your writings and drawings. Take a moment to sit and reflect on what you heard, saw, smelled, and felt. If you're really feeling like a nature explorer, you can take something with you. Collect flowers, leaves, and other plants that interest you. Then you can either use them as a reference for your drawing, take a picture of them to add to your journal, or just use them as a reference. Another option is to press flowers into your notebook. Make sure the flowers are dry and place them between two pages. Get some big books or something heavy and wait. After a few days, you'll have something that looks like this. So here is an example of a basic journal entry. I started by saying that today I went on a nature walk. Then I went back to our guiding questions. The weather was sunny and hot, so I decided to both illustrate and write about that. I then answered how being in nature makes me feel. The color blue evokes a feeling of calmness as does the illustrated breeze. I then wrote about what within nature makes me feel calm. For me, that is the breeze in the trees and the quiet noises of the insects. Then I wrote about my favorite thing in nature, which is observing insects. Next, I counted the insects I saw on my walk and described them. There were four red ladybugs, two dragonflies, and one monarch butterfly. I decided to print out a picture of the butterfly. I then did some research and found out that monarchs migrate through Texas every year. Feel free to include cool facts like this in one of your entries. Finally, I described the different plants I saw and decided to tape one into my journal. If you're feeling more crafty, feel free to make a collage like this, where the green colors and birds evoke a feeling of freedom, or this, where the quotes I found in the yellow flowers evoke a feeling of happiness. Or, for more advanced writers, you can create a poem or complex journal entry. Personally, I love the stars, so I decided to paint an abstract sky and write a little entry. Feel free to pause the video to read it. So there you have it. That's how to start your own nature journal. For more inspiration, I recommend nature journalist John Krakauer, who has written about everything from surfing in California to climbing some of the world's tallest mountains. And remember to stay tuned for more art journal videos.